He liked people, I think. And I think he thought the, 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 the outside world, which was, you know, everybody else, was sort of fascinating, you know, <laughs> to visit, sort of. And he, uh, his, uh, his Secret Service, um, uh, head of his Secret Service, um, whatever you call it, patrol, uh, was a fellow named Mike Riley, who was a, a real nice Catholic guy from New York. And he wrote a lovely book about his, about his years with Roosevelt. But he says at one point, he says, the only time I always thought the boss was kind of out of his element was when he tried to be one of the boys. And I think he, he, he was never really one of the boys. He, could, he, he was always the center of attention everywhere he, went, everywhere he went. But he was quite happy to have all kinds of people feel that way. And you know, he invented ordinary people. Um, when he was in the White House, I don't know why I'm doing, I hadn't thought of this in a long time. In press conferences, he would say, um, when he wanted to make some point, he'd say, you know, boys, he'd say, um, I had a strawberry farmer in here last week, and he told me that the price of strawberries, whatever. And two weeks later, he said, you know, boys, I had a house painter in here the other day, and one of the, one of the reporters who'd been there a while, said, Mr. President, was this, does he also grow strawberries? <laughs> because no, neither of those people had ever been in his office. And he'd roared with laughter. Made it up. <laughs>